Hi everyone. This video is about my nail care regimen. This is a highly requested video. Um, every time I do a video and I show my bare nails and every time I post a picture on uh, social media, whether it's Facebook or Instagram or whatever, um, someone will eventually ask me, what do I do to um, take care of my nails? This is just what works for me, okay? So this is the first thing what I do is I use Sally Hansen problem cuticle remover. I do not have problem cuticles. This is just a product that I love and I have been using for years and it removes the cuticles nice and easy and I don't have to soak my uh, hands in hot water or warm water, warm soapy water or anything like that. This removes my cuticles in just a few minutes. So I'm just going to demo. I'm not going to go through the whole thing because I don't want this video to be too long. But this, you can purchase this at Walgreens, um, a drug, any drugstore, Walmart. And it comes with two orange wood sticks as well. So you just simply uh, wash your hands first. I'm gonna start with clean hands, whatever you do, whatever you do. And then you just apply a dot of the product to your cuticles. Just like that. Then you just Lightly pat it in. And if you haven't done this in a while, I would suggest leaving it on uh, longer. But the, suge the uh, suggestion is, I think, no longer than five minutes. I leave this on for uh, about five minutes because I have not done this in quite a while. I've been doing dry manicures. After the five minutes, you want to go ahead and take a, a cuticle pusher. You can use the one that came with the product, which is the orange wood stick. You can use that or you can use a metal one, like the one I have, the double-sided one here. I use one of these um, just because it's my preference. And just gently push the cuticles back. It may look like I am pushing hard but I am not believe me I do not want to damage my nail or my cuticle so why would I push hard right so I'm not pushing hard at all gently uh, push your cuticles back pushed my cuticles back and it is time to uh, rinse all of this uh, gunk off dead cuticle and the uh, product so I'm gonna go ahead and wash with warm water very thoroughly just rinse it off with soap and water and I'll be right back okay so the next thing I do is I flip my nails over and or my hand over and I take an orange wood stick not the metal one and I gently press the skin down underneath which should be really soft by now and just gently push that down I don't know what this is called guys I'm sorry about that but the it's the skin that grows underneath so after you've pressed that down, I take some hydrogen peroxide and a Q-tip. Instead of doing any whitening treatments or anything like that, unless my nails are really yellow, which they hardly ever get anymore because I use a really good um, base coat. And I just apply the hydrogen peroxide underneath my nails with the q-tip like that 
You can use one Q-tip for each nail if you want. That's fine. Um, I'm, for this video, I will use just one. And you will notice that your nails will whiten up a little bit. Look at that. See the difference? Hopefully you guys do. See the difference? And I've been doing this for quite a while. I do have videos on how to whiten your nails and I still do that if if my nails um, need it. But the hydrogen peroxide works pretty well. Okay, so now on to the next step. The next step would be to trim. This is if you want to trim, okay? If you have your nails at the length you want, then you can skip this step. But I want to trim a little bit off of the tip here. I don't want my nails to grow any longer than this, really. Um, I've been trying to keep them at a certain length, which is about this length. And I don't want them to get any longer uh, than this. I don't want really, really long nails anymore. Like my thumbnail is ridiculous. So um, I want to trim that. So I have one of these uh, trimmers that I purchased from eBay quite some time ago. And you just line it up wherever you want. And I usually just trim a little bit at a time because, uh, you know, you can always trim more. But you can't put back what you've cut off, right? So, actually that's perfect. So, because I, I just wanted that curve that was happening at the tip of the nail to be gone. And I like square nails, so... I'm just going to cut the other one just a tiny, tiny bit off. That's good. And then the next step would be to shape them up. and by the surge strengthening gel last but not least of course is my temperfect nose cuticle oil if you have not tried this try it it works it helps my nose stay strong they grow, they stay healthy. Whether they are longer or short, they stay healthy. You can see my no short nails look healthy. Um, I don't, I rarely have hangnails and uh, side hangnails, whatever you call the side hangnails, I guess you call them side hangnails. Um, I rarely have that dry skin um, around the nail. Um, like sometimes I'll get like really really dry skin right there and uh, hard dry skin right there and I just apply uh, a little bit of this oil to it and in a couple of days it's gone again it's soft so if you have not tried my oil please try my oil it really works you guys and it's a hundred percent natural there's no preservatives no chemicals in it uh, just oils and biotin that's it so and I have some lovely fragrances as well so don't take my word for it just go ahead and get you a bottle and test it out and you'll see for yourself how great this oil is and that's really it you guys so um, hopefully uh, I mean I did a video like this before a long time ago but um, if it's requested then I go ahead and try to accommodate so hopefully you guys learned something and I answered your questions. If not, leave a comment. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out all of my links below, including the one for my cuticle oil. Thanks guys. Bye.